Hi, this is Justice. In this update video, I'm going to be talking about a couple different things uh, about the new stylus and about Tablet Pro version 3. So if you guys have questions or comments about version 3, you can put it in the comment section below. And uh, let's go ahead and start talking about the improvements to the pen tool. So I have been using the pen tool with the lock settings on like this. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is Win Shift L, uh, which you can find all of these over here. This is kind of ugly. I need to make this look better. But uh, let's see. Main keyboard shortcuts, mode switching shortcuts. Uh, so let's see, there should be a lock. Toggle lock mode right here. Panel and window setting shortcuts. Toggle lock mode, Win Shift L. Okay, so the shortcuts have been updated there. You can turn off the different sections here. And with this turned off, uh, there's been some fairly jumpy behavior because what has been happening in the past is the uh, EXE only had to have certain parts that were matching. And so Firefox was loading uh, when uh, Expressy because they both had an X in it. So we fixed that. Um, a handful of different improvements here. Uh, in the past, if you're trying to close a window, it would switch so quickly that it would populate a new uh, artist pad and the switching of windows inside of windows uh, would make another program pop up. It was driving me crazy and so I just simply wouldn't use it uh, so that has been improved. There's a little bit more um, latency and when the artist pads are opening. And so that helps improve that as well as a handful of other things we did in the background. Keyboard shortcuts are now segmented in the help section. The third thing is you can drag and drop files on top of the pen tool shortcut, the I, &I preset files, and it will uh, load them or ask you if it wants you to load them with uh, whatever presets selected. Loads I, &I files on drag and drop. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's just open up this window here and let's go to my presets, online presets. Okay, let's say we have one here. Our friend sends us a preset. Uh, by the way, I have removed the word preset from all of the presets, which uh, means if you update the presets, so right here, pen, you have update all presets. Um, this will update all the presets with the default backup presets. This shouldn't copy over files with different names. However, backup your files. Uh, I would recommend copying your files out, um, reassociating them if you want to use the shorter file names and the updated presets. I know this is a pain in the butt. I apologize. Hopefully moving forwards, it will stay the same. Um, this is a learning process. I would love to have had a clear vision for how everything worked right in the beginning, but it just simply has been um, nearly impossible to know until I've done some of these things and experienced some of how this should work. Okay, so update all presets. Um, we'll repopulate these. Uh, there is now a refresh all presets. This will remove and replace everything here, not just the ones that uh, are being restored. Just everything will, will get removed except for whatever one is selected. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, I got this file from a friend and uh, let's see, I want to do FL Studio. I'm going to drag it right on top here. And when I try to import it, it says, uh, would you like to assign it to the current pen tool preset? So OneNote right here, I'll say yes. And now it loads it. Um, I think that's really great and it is assigned right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to switch this back to what it was. Uh, another thing here, OneNote, 
has been dramatically simplified. Uh, yay! There was probably eight options in here, and I think it was just too complicated. So choose the one with the resolution that matches yours. If you have a screen with a different resolution, please, uh, if you make it look nice and you map some things to OneNote, uh, send it to me so I can include it here. Uh, the basic idea that I have for OneNote is uh, there's a couple things and I can add these for you if you send it to me with the correct resolution map. Let's go into the um, new presets because all of these have been updated. Okay, so let's close that. And right here, new presets without preset names. Okay, so this is really cool, but let me actually just show you what this looks like. So up here in the top left corner, there is a blue pen on all of the presets. That will open the pen tool so you can switch to something different very easily. Now we've made some changes here to make this um, look nicer. Okay, so we're right here. We're going to open up the pen tool with the pen tool button up here in the corner. Okay, so now we're going to switch. Ah, yes, it still does this. Okay, and what you're going to see is up here at the top, Premiere, Fresco. Uh, this is a small one, so we don't see it the same way. But if you open it up, uh, you're going to see that we're using the default because we are. Okay, Clip Studio, Designer. Now, these two buttons, I'm trying to keep this consistent. If you're making one of these to share, try and do the same thing. So the left button opens up the pen tool. Uh, that keyboard shortcut is control backslash. Designer, this button right here opens up the Tablet Pro Manager. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep this consistent across all the different ones so you can expect it down here at the bottom cortana and keyboard and in a lot of these i put um, the hide taskbar button so that you can hide the taskbar uh, on almost all of these okay and again i'm trying to this one is not um, cohesive with everything else but cortana should be down here again doesn't matter you can do whatever you want but i'm trying to keep it consistent okay so here I want to make a change to designer, Clip Studio Paint. Um, here on different ones like OneNote, I've added a get location button to the preset itself. And I'm using this right here, the assist pad button. It's just an open square, uh, empty square, uh, square outline. Okay, when I tap that, so if I want to make a preset, uh, and have a click location button. This has been pretty daunting. It's just, there's a lot of steps. If you understand how to do it, it's not bad, but for new users, it's been pretty difficult. So I wanted to make this simpler. So here we open up the assist pad. So it's this trackpad over here. Let's say I want to map something to this pencil right here. I click the button, click location. There's also a click location button right here. So let's say we want the eraser. All right, now we have the coordinates copied. We click OneNote and we paste it on whatever button we want over here in the location section. Save it. And that's done and, and easier. There's less menus to go through, less things to find and figure out. So I think that's a good improvement. We've done little bits of reworking on in the UI, which is, is great. And we also have a brand new app a brand new app uh, which is the free version of the pen tool so let's go ahead and take a look at that all right so this is the free version of the pen tool this is very very simplified the idea is that it will give you your basic pen functionality for free and uh, that this is something that everyone can use. And if you want more features, you can add more features. It's very simple. Uh, it obviously gives you the option to upgrade right here. 
and to get the Tablet Pro Touch software right here. So these will open up the Windows Store programs. This will open up the Windows Store app, Tablet Pro Touch. Here, this is the EXE in the store, uh, and we might be updating this for version three. Uh, we'll see what all we can do. So right here, you just would click install and it would take you through the install process. It will take you through installing the pen tool. If you don't have it installed yet, the full pen tool and the Tablet Pro desktop, the Tablet Pro touch software and the Tablet Pro manager. Um, here we have a smaller list of options. Here, just the simple one, not the advanced one with all the click location uh, or multiple uh, functions on a single button, just a simple one. And here you have just the option of inputting a uh, hotkey for Bluetooth. So, yay! This is exciting because it's something I think that everyone can use and hopefully will get rated up um, <laughs> without a lot of complaints because there's, it just does less. There's less things to go wrong or be confusing. Uh, this stylus at the top is a generic. It does not exist. It's meant to not look like any specific stylus too much. So um, that was the goal with that image. Uh, we're going to be updating this icon. One more thing. This is a huge thing. Don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Okay, so here, full screen trackpad mode. Something has happened. Okay, here we have all of these, right click, middle click, and show assist pad. This is all part of the um, default Tablet Pro settings. Okay, this is complicated. Okay, we're going to go, okay, and close it. Now, full screen trackpad mode. Um, let's go back here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assign a Tablet Pro settings file. We're going to choose dictation, update preset, and now we're going to go here to our default preset. We're going to do a similar thing. Choose here, default, and update. Now here inside of Tablet Pro, if you are backing up universal settings to file, restore universal settings to file. These are the files that we're talking about. So keep in mind, that's what those are. Um, okay, so let's click apply. Now let's go to trackpad mode. And over here to touch. And what I want you to know is that all of these have programmed gestures in it. This is for dictation. If you wanted to do dictation without looking at the screen and have um, all of your gestures mapped to uh, similar things that you would use like enter, delete, backspace, comma, question mark, um, those type of things, change case, uppercase, lowercase, sentence case, all that stuff with, with gestures. So you could talk using dictation in Microsoft Word and you don't have to look at the screen. Okay, so here we're going to click on default preset. Really, if we clicked on any of these other presets, what it's going to do is it's going to switch from the mode that we just had. Here, notice this has been restored back to the setting. So every setting, all of the settings over here can be changed on the fly with a preset. Now you can assign a preset and a Tablet Pro settings file to uh, one of these. So if you're using gestures or something for a game, this is great. If you're using something like that, like I used to play StarCraft II uh, with touch gestures and switching everything back and forth was a pain in the butt. It just took a lot of time. So this is really fast and works well. Improved preset files with better location clicking built in, change all the settings. With associated Tablet Pro settings files for presets. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you like and use the pen tool, please rate it up in the store. I really appreciate that. It's the nicest thing that you can do for me uh, and for my family besides purchasing. So purchase and rate it up. I really appreciate it.